we start here with the installation. We have extracted, or we have yet to extract uh, three zip files, two, three, and four of 10, which will give us all the necessary bits for installing a new database and a complete Siebel multi-language environment. So speeding this up here. So here we have our disk one install folder. Let's run setup bat as administrator. That launches the modular deployment engine for Siebel 22. Here we go. And specify the new home directory. Let's call it Siebel slash backslash MDE. And we're going to use this home to host all the server components, including AI, Gateway, and Siebel server. First, the language, and we want to have two language packs, English and one non ENU language, picking German here. Keep the Siebel Enterprise components. Make sure you have new database repository for the installation of the database later and keep enterprise and AI container configuration checked. And next brings us to the ports. So for the internal enterprise component Tomcat, we modify the port numbers here. That's perfectly fine to just have any free ports. So 9011, 1213, and we keep the defaults for the AI external Tomcat. Now that username and password you enter here, that's the primordial user for the SMC. Keep that very close. And then you browse for the JKS file you have prepared. Watch the previous video if you haven't, how to use this Black Sheep Keymaker to prepare one and specify it as the key store and trust store with the password for both the internal and external Tomcat. Simple single stack machine. We don't need separate files here. It's a sandbox after all, and we're ready to hit install. But let's save the response file first for. Well, for documentation or for running it later on a different machine. Could not hurt to save the response file. And ready to install. And that takes just a few minutes, which we have just skipped here to the end. And now we can finish the installer. And let's see what the installer installer did besides placing the binaries. It has created two Tomcat services on Windows, which we can find after refreshing the services, the external AI Tomcat, the internal for Siebel server and gateway. I used to set these services to manual, control them with a script and copy that path to the executable so you can modify the memory allocation, change RS to ES and add a W before the executable so you can reach this dialog. And for memory, I choose 2.5 gigabytes. That should be more than enough for the sandbox. That was the AI. And now let's repeat that for the internal Tomcat. So change to manual, copy the path and call the path modify it to ES with Tomcat 9W in a command line, go to Java and allocate a bit more memory than the meager defaults here. So two gigabytes, just fine for sandbox. Okay, so that's it for the MDE installation. Thank you. Hi, it's Richard. And I'm Alex. Welcome to the Siebel Hub Learning Experience. Get ready for Siebel 22 with the most up-to-date modular training course available. 
Learn more with clear, precise instructor presentation. Team 2 has a mid-level release they want to push to integration test and then incrementally migrate that content to the test database. Learn better with comprehensive exercises and demonstrations. Now the next step to be executed is the business service and we can click simulate next. This executes the business service and we can inspect the output in the workflow process data panel. Learn faster with high quality course materials. Go to SiebelHub.com and start learning today.